This is Chris 6 News at 10. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Pat Simon. We do start with that proposed Tesla facility being eyed for the Robstown area. The proposed location for that Tesla plant is near the intersection of Highway 77 and County Road 28. That's about halfway between Robstown and Driscoll. Tonight, that plant becoming closer to reality after Nueces County Commissioners make a decision. Our Iran Hammy was there and has this report. the enabling legislation to support Robstown Independent School District. Nueces County Commissioners approved the creation of a tax reinvestment zone in the area between Robstown and Driscoll. The site proposed to bring a Tesla lithium refinery. These zones don't create a new tax, rather it designates a portion of the property tax in that area to be put towards making the area better and enticing new business. Although there was much opposition at the public hearing, Robstown ISD already approved the Chapter 313 tax breaks to bring in Tesla. This was the next step. Those are the people who benefit by, from this the most, so I think we have an obligation to move forward on this to allow the process to work, to allow those public hearings to allow Robstown to be able to finish what they need to do. They get money at equal to $100 per ADA, uh, average daily attendance, that is outside of the Texas school uh, financing, and so they can do that, use that for anything they want. Chapter 313s can be controversial, but Ian Vasey with New Aces County Development Commission argued there's been previous success. One incentive is building a whole new high school out of the revenues from one of these 313 agreements. Several stepped up to object altogether to bringing Tesla in. Some of the arguments against focused on not allowing the tech giant to get a break on taxes. Many arguments were on the potential negative environmental impact. After everything that we've been going through with droughts and and, and restrictions and everything, we are not, I mean, they need to bring their own water or we need to be asking these questions. Where's that water coming from? The other thing that they're gonna need is a water discharge permit. Who's trying to gather ideas from this community to find out what our vision is for the future of this place? What we see are solutions that don't harm people, that don't harm the environment. This does not mean that Tesla is officially coming to Nueces County. There are still many questions. Tesla filed an application for a Chapter 313, but commissioners say nothing has been filed for a Chapter 312 tax breaks with the county. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Aron Hammy, Chris 6 News. Back to that proposed location between Robstown and Driscoll. We spoke to one longtime resident there today that's excited about the possible changes headed there. This new plant can bring good jobs and good businesses, and the people who find out about this in our area will probably look into applying for the jobs. Ms. Herrera telling us that she is also hopeful that infrastructure improvements could also be on the way. 